Burns controversy in Temple tonight after a man visiting the city dies while allegedly trying to fight off police. Bystanders watching near the Wayman Manor apartment. That's just east of I-35. And authorities say he died after some sort of medical distress, but neighbors are telling a different story. And Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza spoke to witnesses who claim the officers responding are the ones who killed him. Now, witnesses tell me what happens here is not what police are saying. He was screaming. You can hear him screaming. You know, this is how he was screaming in the street. This is how he was screaming. And I was like, OMG, he's going to jail. Just after 7.30 last night, police say they responded to a disturbance. I saw a man standing in the street. He was yelling. He was like screaming like real loud. That's when they encountered a man who they say was being uncooperative and under the influence. After they tried to put him in the car, it's like he wouldn't go. So they started forcing him in the car, like abusively, like punching him, kneeing him. I know he was not on no substance because I was told after the fact that he's not on drugs. That's how he acts normally. Police say as they attempted to detain him, he resisted and struggled with the officers. He was like, at first he was resisting. I can say that he was resisting in the beginning. This is where the stories don't match up. Police say he started showing signs of medical distress. And he was screaming, help me, I can't breathe, help me. Like forcefully threw him to the ground and had their knees in his back, like four officers on top of him. Police say EMS was called on scene and the man was transported to Baylor Scott and White Hospital where he was pronounced dead. He was already unresponsive, he was already dead when he was put in the back of that car. Once we didn't hear any more screams, he was dead already. I reached out to the Temple Police Department, who did not have time to meet with me, and to the city of Temple, who did not have a comment. I just feel like that a death another murder that they're trying to throw under the rug left unseen. The Texas Rangers are conducting an investigation along with the Temple Police Department's violent crime squad. The cops did still kill a human being, and he was African American, and he fought for his life. And many of the neighbors I spoke to say they're actually shocked about what happened. They say this community has actually been improving. In Temple, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.